Welcome to another exciting episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Before anything, I'd like to welcome you to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe by hitting that bell button so that you get notified for future releases. The Wycombe Air Park that sits on the edge of London. The lush countryside which holds a special place at the heart of English life and culture. This is a countryside that remains for most people in Britain an idyllic place that also makes it a great place to fly over those villages. To see that pristine scenery, the little airstrip has been set in classic British countryside. Pilot Plus has been a partner with Orbix from quite some time, giving it an enriching experience to have a better byproduct with their partnership. This unique airport was built native for Microsoft Flight Simulator. It utilizes crisp ground imagery with hand-painted ground finishes along with densely packed modeling throughout the airport that gives out a better defined version of the Wycombe Air Park. While it's a different experience to fly over England to see the beautiful scenery, it makes quite a difference when you compare the default airport along with this airport. This combines ultra-realistic models with modern texturing techniques that would make it the perfect place to start your VFR experience. Some of the key features to this area is that it has a unique and charming countryside atmosphere with 3D modeling that has high details in it. It includes a full PBR air park that also involves apron assets, buildings with complete details as well as ground textures. If you have a look at the runways as well as the airstrip which is compared to the Google satellite imagery or even Bing imagery, it certainly adds so much in this revised airport by Pilot Plus. It's only when you compare the two buildings side by side that you start to realize the sheer difference between the two and how different they are in regards to details. In the default scenery, if you observe the building, it appears to be in correct shape. The color of the entire building is incorrect. It also includes incorrect PBR properties that's been associated which appears to be more glossy as well as reflective the closer you approach towards it. While you compare that to the revised buildings, it appears to be of much more higher quality that has the right colors, textures and details by the default rendition. If you observe the terminal buildings as well as other airport buildings, the similar comparisons can be brought to place. There is certainly lack of focus on smaller details that can bring the airport to life. If you observe the pictures of the airport in real world, there are certainly some differences. However, Pilot Plus has certainly made an effort to add more details if you observe, including the gliders, the helipads, the parking lots for all these small planes, the color of the building, and surrounding areas in the default airport. There seems to be no tower at all. While Asobo Studios have certainly put in their efforts, it looks like the AI from Black Shark hasn't really rendered much details from the given imagery from Bing Maps. It's quite early on to just put a conclusion on Asobo Studios, however, they've done their best. If you observe the textures in the default scenery on the main apron as well as the taxiways, it has high resolution concrete but seem to be from stock textures that have been based on materials such as concrete which is quite common when you compare other airports in the simulator. At the same time, Pilot Plus scenery shows a little bit of oil, rubber skid marks that have been left by aircrafts throughout the taxiways and apron which also has matching colors with the real airport. This airport also includes areas that have been remodeled with a change of material from concrete to asphalt. If you observe, the refueling area is quite close to the real refueling area in the airport. The runway markings seem to be accurate along with the grass strip all in all, the runway's appearance look much better. One thing to note is that near the gliding area, which is located on the opposite side of the airport, there could be some distinct lack of detail when it comes to taxiway markings or any whole shot signage. What we could probably note is that they simply do not exist even though they are present 
in real world airports. Overall, we could say that the default in comparison to the revised airport from Pilot Plus certainly displays a huge difference. It looks like it's quite accurate. That includes place objects, details, features, buildings throughout the airport and surrounding the airport that can add another level of realism. So if you're local to the area, you can certainly give this a shot. It would be lovely to fly out from your home airport and see how beautiful your own countryside is. All in all, I would say that if you visit this airport more than once in your simulator career, I certainly recommend you to give this a try as the added detail can make a difference in your experience. While I got an opportunity to fly through this airport, I'm going to be honest that there were certainly some performance issues in my machine. The frames per second were off by 30%, which is quite alarming. So this is something in the future which Asobo Studios along with Pilot Plus could work on to see how more optimized their workshop could be in order to design these airport packs that could perform better by current systems. So well that's pretty much the update for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video do leave a like this can make a difference for me. If you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe for more interesting videos in the future for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Have a good rest of the day and stay tuned.